and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with two major backstage developments and updates going into Easter Sunday. On the eve of Easter Sunday, right here on Sean's View Entertainment, the best, biggest backstage updates that you want to know, the questions that you want to find out, and the answers that you, quite frankly, deserve. I have been able to dig up some more notes I've been able to dig up the rumors, the news, the gossip, the speculation, the headlines that you've come to know on both Sheamus and Brock Lesnar. And we're going to get into both those big updates right now. Now, we all know Stephanie McMahon is set to address the Brock Lesnar situation this Monday on Raw. Speaking of Brock Lesnar, there is rumors that Lesnar will come back to a monster or a massive babyface push. WWE obviously planted the seeds Monday night last week after WrestleMania so people can get adjusted to what Brock Lesnar is going to bring to the table and we're going to feel the pain once again. Early speculation was that Paul Heyman would turn on Brock Lesnar leading to the babyface turn. However, that does not seem to be the direction the WWE will ultimately go in. Excuse me as I uh, got something in my eye there. Okay, all set. Another reason... For the face run for Brock Lesnar upon his initial next return, it will open up the opportunity for fresh new matchups and storylines. It is all also believed that the face run for Lesnar will help boost Lesnar merchandise, which was uh, a part of the problem Lesnar had on his last WWE deal, that he wasn't pushing as much merch as he would have liked. And I can see where Brock Lesnar is coming from with that. But either way, I'm sure Brock Lesnar sold a lot of merchandise during WrestleMania and the next night on Monday Night Raw because everyone was going absolutely insane. Everyone was going berserk for the Beast and Connor, the former reigning, defending WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar. But there is more to this update as well as a Sheamus update, so stay tuned because as a matter of fact, the huge angle that took place on Raw with Lesnar uh, taking out WWE officials, announcers, Michael Cole with an F5, JBL, Booker T, and cameramen was met with positive feedback backstage. Many fans who were not Lesnar fan favorites, as myself, had forgot all about the fact that Lesnar was not showing up on a daily basis. WWE fans were soaking up the Raw moment. Many believe that this is one of the greatest Raw moments in Brock Lesnar's WWE career as concerns raw moments because Lesnar, he's had a few raw moments, but nothing this noteworthy, nothing this significant in my estimation. Let's see. Uh, while WWE would love to follow up the storyline with Brock Lesnar each and every week on Raw, obviously that is not going to happen as Lesnar is now on his extended break, but the WWE can call Lesnar up when they see fit to work extra dates, but of course they got to give extra money to Brock Lesnar. The feeling is Lesnar is at a point in his career, his life, where he can still be a badass without breaking bodies and bones along the way. Uh, WWE, now this is an update on Sheamus. Now, two huge updates in one video. You gotta love it, right? WWE felt that Sheamus' new look fits right into his new attitude and entrance theme. The current feeling is that you, the, the you look stupid chance will sooner or later die down. And it will turn into a good amount of boos. Boo. Especially with the way that the WWE will be booking Sheamus. One source said that you will have no other choice, no other alternative, but to uh, boo Sheamus and accept it. As many know, Triple H is a big supporter of Sheamus. While it, will, uh, while it was reported Sheamus worked too stiff or rough in the ring with Ziggler and Bryan this past week on Raw and SmackDown respectively, there is said to be no heat on Sheamus for his actions. Sheamus is not in trouble with the WWE for his performance. Soon, uh, excuse me, some fans got the wrong impression uh, that Ziggler took some time off to sell the Sheamus bro kick from Raw. So it was not because he was too too aggressive or too stiff in the ring like some fans thought he was and thought Sheamus was going out of control. That's not the way it was going down. So Ziggler wasn't on SmackDown because he was just selling the beating. Like Michael Cole was there to sell the F5. It's all about selling, you know? Now, had Sheamus not protected Ziggler or Bryan on Raw or SmackDown respectively, Sheamus would have not been dealt Sheamus would have been dealt with by WWE management had he went about things the wrong way. Finally, if W if what Sheamus did was that bad, 
WWE would have never put Sheamus in the main event of SmackDown versus the Intercontinental Champion, Daniel Bryan. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is two huge, significant, major backstage updates, news, rumors, gossip, speculation, as it concerns Brock Lesnar and Sheamus. Your comments, your opinions, and please share these videos all over the entire internet and make sure to subscribe. And hopefully you all have a happy Easter Sunday tomorrow. And if there's any updates, you can bet your ass Sean Vintain will be here to fill you in and keep you around the clock. Keep you in the know. Subscribe.